मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मंजुनाथ प्रिंसिपल केंद्रीय विद्यालय एयरफोर्स स्टेशन ओझार नासिक वेल बिफोर वी अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट इनवर्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस ऑफ चैप्टर टू इन पार्ट वन लेट अस फर्स्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई एंड वेन अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इन वर्टिबल एंड वॉट इज द कंडीशन for g circle f of x is equal to x that is identity identity mapping dear children you must have studied already in in chapter 1 of uh, part 1 that a function is invertible if and only if it is a 1 to 1 and an on to function that is it is a bijective bijective function so why do we want to know about this the main reason for this is all trigonometric functions trigonometric functions are not actually invertible why this is very important question which you have to understand why the inverse the trigonometric functions are not actually invertible the reason for this is if you take y is equal to sin x the sin function the domain of this function is capital r which is of course written as minus infinity to plus infinity while its range is a small interval called minus 1 comma plus 1 now in this case what happens if you look at the graph of the sin function the sin function's graph is this 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi here it is pi by 2 here it is 3 pi by 2 and you can go as well in the negative direction it is from minus infinity to plus infinity it is in fact a smooth curve without any disturbance if you draw through one or take half draw a line parallel to the x axis in the positive direction of the x axis when you see half here it is cutting the curve x of sin x say x1 here another intersection say x2 here there is one more intersection x3 here there is one more in intersection x4 similarly if i just stretch it to the negative direction here i have say x5 here also i have one value called x6 that means when you write this particular curve in this manner x1 x2 x3 x4 all are going to same value called y1 is equal to half this is for me the y1 now what is happening this particular property does not indicate that the function is a 1 to 1 function it is rather a many to function one function when it is a many to one function the very purpose it is one to one is defined therefore the function needs to be one to one this is one important quality which you have to understand next let us come back now on to function what is the quality of an on to function when you define when you want to define an on to function you have to come back from second set to the first set that's how we define so in the present case x1 x2 x3 x4 if i take for example they are all going for y1 now when you are starting your journey from y i mean the second set b to a what is happening one single value y1 is connected to all the values of x1 x2 x3 and x4 of course x5 x4 x4 so it means y1 comma x1 y1 comma x2 y1 comma x3 y1 comma x4 that means in this set of ordered pairs more than one 
ordered pair has same first coordinate which is a disqualification for the function to be an on to in fact it is not a function at all it is not a function at all why it is not a function because the first coordinate should never repeat for more than once hence we say that this is not an on to function it may be an on to relation but 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 it is not a function at all from this what we understand the inverse that trigonometric functions neither one to one nor on to in which case their invertibility is under question mark so now let us understand how to make the function invertible well now let us make how a function y is equal to sin x is going to be 1 to 1 and on to look at the graph Now it is 0, the peak point is pi by 2, this is minus pi by 2, it is minus 3 pi by 2 plus 3 pi by 2, 2 pi, 5 pi by 2, so on so forth. If I take sine functions domain as capital R, then it is not going to be a 1 to 1 and on to. As a result of that, now I am going to do, I will restrict the interval into a small partition, small interval like from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, I will take one, pi, one interval that is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, then pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 closed interval again 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 to 5 pi by 2 in this interval if I take now what happens in this interval whatever the values the sign can take all those values will come only once for example sign minus pi by 2 is minus 1. Now, in this interval, you will not find any other value which will give you the 1. Next, sin pi by 6 is 1 by 2. That means, after pi by 6, if you see pi by 6 comes between 0 and 0 pi, pi by 2. Somewhere here, it touches this. <coughs> So, now what happens this pi by 6 sin pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 will now not come any, anywhere. That means in this interval whatever the values that we take for sin the x value then it is going to be strictly 1 to 1 function like that. So, if I say minus pi by 2 pi minus pi by 6 0 pi by 6 and pi by 2 it is going here with the sin function what happens this goes to minus 1 this goes to minus half this goes to 0 this goes to 1 by 2 and this goes to 1 that means it is strictly a 1 to 1 function and you take coming from there to here as a, in the reverse direction 1 is coming to pi by 2 half is coming to pi by 6 0 is coming to 0 minus half is coming to minus pi by 6 minus 1 is coming to minus pi by 2 it means it is clearly following the rule of a function 
and the criteria of onto that every element of the second set shall have minimum at least one image in the first set that means it is fulfilling the criteria of being an onto set as well that means the function by reducing the sign function domain from minus infinity to plus infinity if we restrict the domain from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 leading to 1 comma minus 1 comma plus 1 then the sign function is a 1 to 1 and onto function hence we call this is a one this is a way we have to create the domain and the uh, range so that all the trigonometric functions will become will have inverse well dear children we have now understood that by reducing the domain of the function sin x to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 what we achieved is that the function has now become from many to one function to one to one and on to function so we have achieved the criteria criteria for being invertible invertible it means when sign is taken for this domain then the function is having been one to one and on to it is invertible now let us define what is inverse trigonometric function for sin x supposing that you take y is equal to sin x then what happens the sin jumps over here and x is equal to sin inverse y you get so x is equal to sin inverse y can also be rewritten by the rule of change of variable in fact we have that facility in mathematics change of variables so we go for conventional notations y is equal to sin inverse x here i would like to emphasize that you do not get confused why the x and y have been interchanged this interchanging possibility is there in mathematics by the rule of change of variable so this is exactly what i would like to tell now you have got a y is equal to sin inverse x as a defined function this can also be written as y is equal to arc sin x in some books they write arc sin x in some books they write sin inverse x both stand for the same now when we have got the definition of the sin inverse x what is the sin inverse x let us first understand y is equal to sin inverse x let us understand about y is equal to sin inverse x sin inverse x does not stand for 1 by sin x please remember there is an algebraic property i will recap for you people algebraic property what is algebraic property says if you take a inverse we can write it as 1 by a for every a belongs to capital r that is a set of set of real numbers real numbers so now this rule is not applicable in this direction please remember this rule is not applicable in y is equal to sin inverse x so what we have to keep it as we have to keep it as a sin inverse x only this is a first point second point in a similarly i mean similar fashion similarly we can write y is equal to cos inverse x y is equal to tan inverse x y is equal to cosecant inverse x y is equal to secant inverse x y is equal to cot inverse x as inverse trigonometric functions now these functions have got their restricted domain they restricted domain i have already explained you why you need to restrict the domain the restriction on the domain is required in order to make all the trigonometric functions as one to one and on to if you do not restrict the domain into smaller partition you will not be able to understand basically how the function is going to be one to one and on to and thereby leading to the inverse 
If they are not one to one, they cannot be invertible. Please remember this. One to one and on to is a mandatory condition for the invertibility. Now, dear children, you have understood how we have defined trigonometric functions, trigonometric functions to one to one and on to. And also we have defined y is equal to sin inverse x. Now, as far as sin inverse x is a, as a function, we have to now define domain as well as the range of the function. Now, how I define this? The curve of sin x is y, y dash, x, x dash. If I take the sine curve, it is 0 to pi by 2, it is 1 and this is uh, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi and pi. If I come to the leftmost direction here at exactly minus pi by 2, the sine attains minus 1, the, uh, the infimum and supremum values are obtained by the sine function. The same curve if I take in the uh, image, image manner, the functions value going to be, uh, the graph is going to be like this. This curve stands minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Now, if I say take the same portion here minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 as I already told you this is the domain, this is the restricted domain which will help us to have the sine function as a 1 to 1 or 1 to. So, now I will take the domain of the sine inverse as a minus 1 comma plus 1 moving to the branch called minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Then similarly, y is equal to cos inverse x if I define the domain of the cos inverse x is also goes from minus 1 to plus 1 to 0 comma pi. If I come to y is equal to tan inverse x, what happens? It is minus infinity to plus infinity moving towards minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. These are all values what we call principal value branches, principal value branches which you can take as the abbreviation PVB for future. 